everybody. Today we're going to show you the trip that we use to make a living in expediting and also our home away from home. It's a Freightliner M2112. Let's have a look. All right, so we're gonna start with the outside. We got one toolbox that is five foot in length, 24 inches deep, 36 inches tall. We got our jack stands right next to that. This is a 22 foot box. So we can get up to 10 pallets or anything 22 foot long. We have two 80 gallon fuel tanks on both sides got our battery box this is a bolt custom sleeper we have these storage compartments that go up under the bed sorry it's a little messy um, this is where we keep our water hose there's our water tank this is uh, where we fill up all our water we do have lights back here for if we're having to look for something in the dark a few cleaning things back there uh, we keep just you know knickknack stuff in here uh, this is a water jug we use to fill up the porta potties back here that's the black box for the for the electronic logs we have a 22 gallon DEF tank now this truck is specced with a DD 13 410 horsepower um, 10 speed ultra shift this is the all the emission stuff the DPF emissions uh, DEF fluid goes in there we have two access doors on this side this goes up under the sink we have our hot water tank, and then all our cleaning supplies, dog food. You can access that from this side. Then this side goes under the bed, triangles. This is our inverter. It is a Magnum Energy MS2012. This is the HVAC system for when the truck's running so that whoever's sleeping in back has air conditioning. Anytime the truck is running down the highway, you can turn this on and that gives us air conditioning to the sleeper. We keep our shore power plug in here. Another extension cord back there. Back here is the water pump. It's a little dark, I don't know. Let me, let me turn on the light, there we go. Uh, the other side of the water tank. And then that's our water pump. So under here this is where our shore power is we have a 30 amp plug then we also have two 110 plugs right here so this is where I come out and I'll plug up my head shavers and I'll come out here and shave my head right here this right here is uh, water release you got your water tank right there that's where all the sink water drains to you pull that valve back there and all the water comes out here We got our other 80 gallon tank. We have a Comfort Pro APU. It's a 6,500 watt. This is basically what powers our air conditioning, 
charges our batteries, keeps our truck warm in the winter. This is also connected to the engine, the coolant lines. So what it does is it helps keep the engine warm when you're in cold temperatures. Then we have another toolbox on this side. Now the one on the other side we use for tools and stuff. This one over here we use for storage. We keep bottled water in there, things like that. <laughs> the sleeper is a 96 inch sleeper. That's 96 inches from the back of the seats to the back right here. Let's go check out the inside. So I want to give you a little tour of the captain's area. You know, this is a, uh, we've done a lot of different things with this truck that we did in the last one. If you do notice uh, right here, all this in our first truck was like a wood grain finish, but we really did not like that. So we had them do the black. Uh, I think it makes it look a lot better. I just don't like that wood grain on a vehicle. A few upgrades we've done is uh, this a little electric box. It's an extension cord. Uh, basically ran it down underneath, all the way up under there, back here, around the seat over there, and then there's a plug back there in that corner down below. So I plugged it in there, and I don't know what that plug's supposed to be for, but we found a good use for it. So we put two, uh, we got two 110 plugs, two USB chargers. That kind of freed up our cigarette lighter so we could have our GPS and then our dash cam. Um, this is just our uh, iPhone charger. Now I got the GPS mounted on the dash and I'll show you what I used. I used a RAM mount with a double-sided tape uh, mounting option and then just mount the GPS right there. You can find those mounts at ram.com, rammounts.com. Um, these things are pretty cool. You can get these at Walmart. They're just, it, this is a magnet, then a little metal piece that goes on the back of your phone. Then you can mount that there. We got our dash cam, toll tag, GoPro, and pre-pass, and then Texas toll tag which works for Oklahoma and Texas, and soon to be Kansas, that I-35 toll. We got a little GoPro mount over here. Some other options we did here, we got some hooks from Home Depot, and we uh, mounted these hooks. This is metal on the back here, so we put those hooks up there to hang our headsets. We got another one over on that side. That's our music headphones. We found these little cheap things at uh, TA. We just used some little 3M hooks to put right here. They came with a hook that goes in the vents, but we didn't want to cover our vents, so we used this option to mount them. A uh, the little red button, that's our panic button. A uh, few buttons this truck came with that our old truck didn't was fog lamps. This right here is for our box lights. We mounted this uh, little cheapy clock here with some of that dual lock. We got these little things from TA also. Uh, just holds our, this is my sunglasses. These are my night glasses. Heather's glasses go here and then her sunglasses go over there. Then we got this little cool pen holder from TA also. Now with my dash cam, I ran the wire up through here all the way around, down, up under the dash, up over here, and I used some zip ties to kind of hold the cable out of the way right up here, then plugs in right there. I, I think it just makes for a cleaner install you know, you don't have wires hanging all in front of your uh, driving. Got a passenger cell phone magnet over there. So if uh, either one of us are up front. Also, you got a phone holder here. 
just bends up and you can slide your phone in there. These things are really cool. It's, uh, it's just rubber, really, and it like sticks to the dash, and then you can set stuff on it. One thing we do a lot is when we're charging the GoPros, we'll plug in here and then run it and just lay the GoPro down on there, and it, it does not slide or move or anything off the dash, so I really like that. One thing I did have to do was cut a little strip off of it to put under here to stop the, the GPS from rattling. Here's our little uh, door cubby holder thing that we keep all of our hazmat stuff in. Uh, that was an add-on that we got. The other side comes with just a handle, and that's what this side came with. But we took the handle off and upgraded to that. I keep my hat up there with my GoPro mount on it. We keep our uh, twit cards and credentials and stuff hanging from little hooks up there. If you're wondering what that cable is, that's our Wi-Fi antenna. We stick it out outside and then when we're done with it and we're going driving, we don't leave it out there. We put it, uh, we'll slide the seat forward and stick it down behind the seat there and just leave all the cables there. So that's the captain's area, you know, let's go check out the sleeper. on the road we have it's a 96 inch bolt custom sleeper this is really I think becoming the standard in these expediter trucks of sleepers um, I have seen them larger some people have 110 120 with the box truck but I think the most common is the 96 inch which is what we have here so this sleeper it's really similar almost the same as the sleeper we had in the previous truck that we drove for an owner when we got our truck or this truck that we're in right now I really wanted the cabinets up here as you see we have a bunk but when we purchased the truck or decided to purchase the truck they already had the sleeper on the truck so we were not able to change that but really having the bunk it really opens it up and gives you a lot of storage space yeah, I, I, I think I like the bunk better than the cabinets just because it's easier to get to. If you can imagine trying to pack all that stuff in there <laughs> yeah, in the cabinets and then trying to find what you need, at least the way it is right now, it's uh, all laid out and organized and we know where things are, know where to go to get something. And while it does look like a cluster... <laughs> yeah, it's not that pretty to look at, but... You know, we got these little bins that we put food plates in, food over here, food over here, got a laptop. That's uh, back there, if we could lift that up out of the way. That's our office area, you know, we got all our office supplies and laptop back there with backpack with paperwork. So there is actually some organization to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really easy to get up to. Basically, I just kind of step on the bed and get up if I need to get something from the back. Yeah. But, and, and really, if I wanted to, you could probably put a shower curtain up here and put like a curtain if you wanted to hide it, but it's just us in here, so I don't mind. And then somebody it's comes not like to we visit. have a lot. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we, we're not having uh, visitors all the right, time. We don't have too many visitors, but yeah, so I'll kind of point out some of the differences from our our truck sleeper to the truck we drove before. Like I said, pretty much everything is the same, but there are a few differences. So the differences from in our truck, we do have a different color countertop. We do have a sink, of course, the sink we had in the other truck too. One but, thing we are planning on doing is getting a bigger sink that comes out here more, comes over mm -hmm. and goes back. So then, you know, we could probably wash the dogs in it if we wanted. Yeah, that's really, I would love that. So we might do that. 
one thing that we did change is we did put these smart tiles up ourselves, and we did do a video on that I'll link it up above if you want to see how we did that but we think those turned out really really nice um, we still have the convection microwave oven one big change in this truck that we didn't have in the other truck is we do have a hot water heater and I'll show you it's right down here is the hot water heater this is the brand E Max. I'm not sure hopefully you can see that but that is awesome I really missed having that in the last truck so it's really nice having the hot water again another big difference in this truck versus the last truck that we drove is we have a rooftop AC now before we only had the AC that ran with the, Com the Comfort Pro generator but now we have this rooftop AC which makes it really really nice especially like when we are on home time if we want to go to a RV park or anything like that that has sh uh, shore power we can hook it up just like a it's a 30 amp cable like on what small RVs and travel trailers have and we don't have to run our generator and we can still have our AC which is really really nice but those are the major changes um, the refrigerator is is a RV size refrigerator we do have a full freezer and fridge here so you can kind of see the size of that there's a lot of room in there it's really really spacious it, it holds a lot which is great saves you money <laughs> on eating out all the time the cabinet setup is the same as the last sleeper I will link the sleep the tour I did of our last truck above here but it's not the greatest tour it was like one of my very first videos but if you want to go back and take a look you can so yeah right now I have it in the bed configuration the bed is really spacious I mean we have enough room for Jason and I and both babies when we're sleeping it does fold up and we do have a dinette which I will show you but this is where we keep it in most of the time is just the bed configuration is just easier for us I know a lot of people put their bed up and down but this is the way we keep ours most of the time so another major difference um, is the floor color this this flooring that we have in here is a vinyl lock together floor if you'd seen the other truck we were in it had a wood floor that actually got water damage and we replaced that floor with another vinyl flooring I'll link that video above here if you want to see that as well but Yep, we do have that different type of flooring. What else? Um, I think you're, oh. We, we use these little uh, hooks here to uh, hold a little trash bag, you know. They're uh, meant for like sh some sort of shower hooks or something, but. Yeah, shelving, yeah. And then our toilet paper. Mm -hmm. One other difference, now this truck did, or this sleeper did come with a fantastic fan, but we swapped it out and put a max fan that actually has a rain cover built in. We also did a video on how we changed that out. I will link it up above if you want to check it out. But this thing is awesome, having the built-in rain cover. So yeah, guys, let me put this bed up, show you what it looks like with the dinette setup. And there we go. Now we have the dinette configuration. It's really spacious too, and I do like putting this bed up sometimes when I am doing paperwork. Makes it a lot easier doing it on the table. Uh, down underneath, I kind of keep a more storage or bottled, bottled water, water. A laundry basket. We need to do laundry. The dog's food and water. Then that extension cord. One thing that's really weird is all the electric plugs are on this side of the sleeper. Uh, one there two over here and then one back behind the TV so what we did is we took this Abby are you making a cameo <laughs> she took the extension. we took this it got this extension cord and we run it up under goes back up over here then that gives Heather some uh, plugs over here just a you know laptop charger uh, e-cig battery charger and some plugs and stuff that's where we put our max air fan remote control 
One thing I did want to point out too, one, the extension cord, whenever the bed is down, this tucks under this table so it's not dragging on the floor. It only does that when the, the bed's up. Another thing on the windows I wanted to point out, these do have covers over them that I have up right now, which is this right here. It just helps in the summertime keep some of the heat out and in the wintertime keep some of the cold out. But those do unsnap and you can open that all the way. And all three windows back here do have those covers as well as the blinds that you can pull down. We did install this paper towel holder. It was just a Walmart find, really easy to do. Um, I, one thing I want to show you, these little baskets I got, I got these at Walmart. And if you get you some dual lock, which is this stuff right here, it's like a Velcro, but it's more industrial strength. And I use that for these, and that keeps them from moving around when we're going down the road. My coffee pot, I leave on the countertop too. I never have had a problem with that moving or anything. I have just a little piece of that kind of grippy shelf lining. We got this cutting board here at Walmart because when you get the truck, there is no cover on the sink. That may be an option you can get, I'm not sure, but it doesn't come with this truck or the last truck that we drove. So what we did is I, we just found a cutting board at Walmart and got two bottle tops, drilled holes and screwed those in. So what that does is it can sit up here while we're going down the road and it won't come off. It's snug on there unless you lift it up. But that's just nice because it gives you a little bit more counter space as well. Thank you for joining us on the tour of our home away from home. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. Find us on Facebook, send us an email. All of our links and social media is down in the description of where you can contact us. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until our next video, peace, love and expediting.